Hmm, this town's so peaceful. If you ask me, that's all you can really ask for out of life. But peace might, might be getting a little old. I kind of wish something wild would happen. Like, say, if all of a sudden it started raining girls. Wait, what? That already happened? No way! <laughs> I, I found that in between episodes, and I just had to share it because it's brilliant. Also, I'm hitting him in the head with, with my umbrella. That's quite something. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time, we, as Mario, brought curry, spicy curry, to Princess Peach's side with a very cool roll reversal, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. And this time, we're going to be heading through the orange door because the other meaningful thing that we did last episode, more so than bringing peach soup, is... We put a heart in the heart pillar, so now we can progress in the story. Even though, like, the entire game is just us doing that. There doesn't seem to be any side missions yet. With Princess Peach at his side, Mario set out once again bound for adventure. This time, our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer Merli. If Merlin was right, then Merli was the key to finding the next pure heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario set out to find Merle's mysterious mansion. But little did he know, the evil works of the dastardly Count Black awaited at every turn. This time, in Chapter 2-1, we're bogging to Merle's. Cool. Now, as this loads in, I should do my, uh, ritualistic? Or routine apology for the late episode because it was finals week at college and I really didn't have time to, to edit or record. Usually it's it's one or the other, but this time I had no time to do either. But now school is over for the summer, so I have more time. The pure heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be, but it could be a ways. Let's go. All the, oh, Cer certainly. Thanks for your help, Tippy. Although, what I did have time for was, uh, well, okay. You get, you guys know how I've been playing Xenoblade f for the past, I don't know, like, <laughs> year. Okay, can I get the style? Wait a minute. I got it. I got it. I bumped the thing. I, oh my word. <gasps> oh my word. Wow. Wow. I'm doing this. This is amazing. You can do, I can farm here. Nice, nice, nice. Just continue. Oh my word. Come on, come here. No. Yes, I got it. I got it. Okay. What is this? <gasps> no. Yes. Come up. Come here. Come here. Come up, man. Oh my word. I can farm here infinitely. Okay, I, I shouldn't be doing this, but I've gotten what, like six thousand points from this and peach is amazing oh wait 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 did you see that i got negative points okay so apparently if you spam it too much it gives you negative points all right that's good to know okay that was that was an impromptu discovery well then all right let's just jump over this chasm as i continue talking about xenoblade chronicles ow I suppose I should examine that enemy before I do anything about it, but I'll do that later. Uh, I've been playing that game since, like, the channel came out, and so, I don't know, it's important that I say I finished it, because it's been, it's been a huge part of my life the past two years. Alright, where do I go? Um, actually, you know what, let's, let's examine both these new enemies, okay. The, the Goomba decided to kill himself, but let's, let's examine the, uh, the cheap cheap here. That's a cheap cheap. Like all fish, it lives entirely underwater. Max HP is that. Uh, no important characteristics of note. It's it's a fish. Thank you, TP. I really wanted to know that. That it's pretty. It's a pretty boring enemy. It's like the Goomba of uh of what you call it. It's like the Goomba of the water. Okay, I, I had a sneaking suspicion that that there was something to do here because there's a platform here that I felt like I should get to. All right, let's jump over there nice platforming is something that I, I don't like to say I'm good at because I just I don't know I, I've talked about before I don't like platforming games but you know 
It's, I'm, it's not that I don't like them, it's that I never get to do them. Alright, uh, let's get these. I've already gotten enough style points. Ha! Ah, style points. I, I've only already gotten enough style points this episode, so I don't feel like I need to uh, get more. Okay, there's a chest here. What does I have in it? A key that I I guess we'll need? I mean, I just came up here because it was there, but I assume apparently we'll need a key. Uh, key, okay. All right, game. Thank you for being straightforward. But yeah, as I was saying, I finished Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, all that was really left for me to do was farm. Uh, you know what? You know what? Okay, okay, okay. I'll get these for the, the mere reason that I want to see the Peach Pal Pills. So I'm doing that. I don't like Pal Pills because they they rob me of points, but I wanted to see the Peach ones. Do they float? No. Okay. But yeah, and, and I, I finished the game. All that was left for me to do is farm at, at that point because I I was a little bit under leveled I don't know why but I was um, I didn't finish the game 100% as much as I'd, I would have liked to um, but yeah so I, I finished the game farmed up to a point where I felt like I could beat the bo the boss and I did and it was it was a great experience all right <laughs> I've been talking about that for a long time hot girl alert we must have been fated to meet, yes! You are my destiny! Please go out with me! Tee, tee, what a silly man you are. I'm very sorry, but I really must be somewhere. Where, Merle's mansion? I wouldn't go there if I were you. You'll get trapped there and bad things will happen. Trapped? Bad things? What are you talking about? Oh man, oh man, oh man! I don't even want to remember it! But now that you're with me, you don't have to worry about all that, baby. Because I'm your fate, your destiny. Uh, thanks for the info. Uh, if I don't come back, will you perhaps try to save me? You know, like a certain mustachioed man used to do- Used- Wow. That's a sick burn on you, Mario. She said you don't save her anymore. Good job, mate. You abandon your girl. There are two things I hate. Old dude with mustaches and old dudes without mustaches. So take a high gold dude, go up the road to Merle's mansion, will ya? Wow. Oh, okay. You'd think he would- Oh, I, I get it. He's jealous. Because I am surrounded by all these 8-bit chicks. <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry. I, I will never say that again in my life. Alright, let's kill all the, the pal pills because I don't like them. And can I make it? Can I make that jump or do I need Peach? I need Peach. No, don't. You don't switch for Peach. You do that for Peach. There we go. Alright, let's jump up here and miss the bus. There we go. Got that bus and now I can continue. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm still talking, talking about Xenoblade, I guess, because I'm long winded. <laughs> I'm long-winded, and, uh, there we go, finally, that was a lot harder than it seemed, though I think I made it a lot harder than it was. Alright, now talking about what I've done after I completed Xenoblade Chronicles, I started playing Xenoblade Chronicles X, because I am obsessed with that series now, and I have to say, beginning, or my first impressions are very good. It's, it seemed to have gotten a lot of flack on the internet for whatever reason, they're just, people were just complaining that it wasn't as good as, uh, as its original Chronicles vanilla counterpart, and I have to say, it's pretty good so far. I don't see why people are complaining. I mean, maybe because, I don't know, maybe, I, I, I really don't know. I I thought I had an explanation, but I, I just don't. It seems really good. The, the humor is great. I mean, it's not set in a fantasy world, but I don't see that as a drawback. Wait, what am I, what did I do here? What did, what did that pipe do? Um, this, oh, it's this door. Yeah, that wasn't here before, because I would have gone through it. But yeah, the Xenoblade Chronicles is quickly turning into one of my favorite series. Also, hello, Peach. You are huge now. Congratulations. I talked about wanting to see her sprite earlier, and I settled for pal pills, but no, man. I now get an HD 8-bit sprite, even though this game is not HD. Alright, let's 
come in, let's load in and deal damage. Get points, even though no amount of points we could get would really top the amount of points I got in the beginning of this episode with the jumpity Jews. Got it. Not just Jews, but jumpity Jews. Jumpity Juice. Juice is jumpity. And that's good. You know what? I, I force things too much. Wait, what is this? This is a slow flower. Tempor temporarily slows time to a crawl. You also earn triple points in your coins while it's active. Okay, uh, you know what? I feel like Mario would be better for this so I don't float. Alright. No, 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 no. Jump. Jump. I'm slow. Get the points. 20 times 3. That's 60. 60. Jump. Jump. Okay, that, that was actually kind of lame. I'm going to go back because I feel like I missed something. I did. Uh, there are coins up there, and I don't know how to get them. Um, oh, I, I, I saw how. Okay. I jump over here, flip, and there's a thing over there. Let's get this thing. Flip, jump, flip, jump. And I'm up here. So that would have been a big, a uh, nice thing to have with the slow shroom because I would have gotten, actually, yeah, I would have gotten triple coins there. So that's what, like 60 coins that I missed out on. Well, oops. Okay. Um, what is that? Okay, it's it's a happy flower, so we get coins. Not very many. Not, not enough to to warrant me missing out on the amount of coins I would have gotten with the flower. But I mean, I mean, it works all the same. Okay, got the coins. Is that all of it? No? Uh, yes? Okay, it is. Let's go down this pipe. Alright, what, what's here? What is here? Um, nothing. This room. There's something about this room. Yeah, I agree. Let's use your magical power, since you seem to be hinting that we use it. That's a switch. Even if you can't see it, you should still be able to activate it. Okay, Achi didn't reveal it, but I, I don't know. So if I had been jumping around there and I would accidentally hit it, would it have hit it? I don't know. Oh. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I think I remember this enemy. What is it? That troublesome creature is a Gromiba. It can clone itself over and over again. Max HP is 2, attack is 1. If you defeat the main one, the clones will die. The primary one has a slightly different set of moves and look, so watch closely. If you don't want to bother, you can defeat them all with an item. That is what I intend to do, because I have heard, I remember, I haven't heard it, but I, I remember that you can do that. So I'm just going to wait around, defeat them all with one item, and get a ton of experience. So, just, ow. One moment. Sometime later, Pal grew impatient and decided just to <laughs> end it all right now. Shake it up and down. Uh, got it. I could have let more spawn, but really, I'm not that hungry for points. Especially because I forgot to mention, unless I unless I already did, that I actually got um, a couple items off screen. Or rather, in the end slate of last video. And one of those is one I want to use right now. I got a star medal, which will give me just a thousand score. Just straight up. So I'm just going to use both those right now to free up inventory slots. But I just... I would have used them earlier this episode, but I, I forgot. Okay, what is this? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! We get a new pixel! Yes! Good vibes! Them vibes set off my blow-up stuff sensors! You like exploding? Spow! I ain't seen real good blow-up stuff vibes in 1,500 years! So boom! I gotta check those vibes out a little more close like, cause crack! Check it out, just to answer a couple questions real quick, SPLAM! Sp um, okay, SPOOM? Here we go, SPLAMO! You stay up wondering if anyone ever gives presents to, to Santa Claus? Uh, no, but I guess, sure, totally. For some reason, you clean your room before a test? Uh... Huh? I guess? When someone says, let's just be friends, you think, yeah, whatever. Actually, sure, I guess, because I'm, I kind of like being friends with 
most people I meet, you don't really understand why I'm asking all these question weird questions. That's truer than true. You think shopping online is a wonderful and magical experience? Mm-hmm, sure. It's kind of a hassle, but it's convenient, so I mean, it's a convenient hassle. You once put on a shirt that inside out and didn't bother reversing it before going out. I mean, I remember when a friend of mine did that, so sure. You want to be sleeping when you're awake, but you're tired, so you want to wake up. Actually, I just never want to go to sleep. You're getting tired, real tired of all these questions. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Got it, got it, got it. Spoom! You got some tasty vibes. Blam! My mind's made up now. Splapo! You guys are worthy of my power. We got a pixel. The explosive pixel named Boomer became your friend. Use Boomer's power to blow up foes and destroy blocks. When you want to switch pixels, go to the other quick pixel in the quick menu and do that. Each second explodes into the next. Splamo! Bombs away! Spoom! Cool. Uh, let's use him on the cracked wall because that's kind of obvious. Alright, so we can blow stuff up now. Nice. Actually, I remember a couple portions in uh, level 1 that that was a thing. And I don't remember exactly where, so if you guys could, uh, remind me and tell me where, then I could go back and look for it. Otherwise, I mean, it may not be worth it. Alright, uh, let's, let's go back now that I have this power. Now, actually, here's a question. That's an item. Or he kind of acts like an item, so can I use... No, no, no. Can I use throw on it? Uh, switch to throw. I can. Okay. Neat. So, the pixels interact with each other. Alright. Now, <laughs> I just realized how, how, uh, like, how it can feel like I, I'm not actually playing this blind and I'm acting, but I didn't know you could do that. I just see things and think about doing them and I do. Alright, uh, there's one of these, these guys. Let's jump on him. And... Again? And let's kill him. Nice, I got him. All right, let's let's carry on. There are a ton of doors up there, and I don't know, like what what is that for? Uh, let's use Boomer because that's nice. Will it hurt us though? Um, let's find out. No, it doesn't. Neat. Okay, let's blow that up, and I can't use it multiple times, sadly. Uh, let's go through the first door. So I I can use the row on it. I can't use it multiple times. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's see. Um, how do I do this? There's... I can't throw him. And there are two enemies. Ow. Um, how do I do this? Uh, wait, uh, oh, I think I, I think I know how. Uh, first of all, let's use Life Shroom. Oh, wait, that's a life shroom. I shouldn't use that. Oops, my bad. Okay, uh, let's use this. Switch. Throw. Grab it. And jump. Got it. I feel like that was supposed to be much harder than it was. And, uh, I just figured it out pretty quick. That was awfully rumbly. Something must have happened outside. What did happen? What? Mm, nothing? Okay, let's go through the next door. I assume that there are switches in each room. Ooh, what? what is that? What is that? That bizarre creature is a slurp. It has tough skin and an appetite for everything. Max HP is huh? Attack is two and defense is huh? No attack will work. But slurps are just as fragile inside as they are tough as on the outside. Maybe you should try feeding it something that would give it into jet. Wow, okay. Uh, so they're, they're Dodongo. So now I want to play uh, Ocarina of Time. Yes, I pronounce it Ocarina of Time. If you have a, a problem with that, then call my lawyer. Okay, um... Odd. I don't... That's that's weird. There's a hole in the ceiling of, of each of these, and no way to get up. Huh, okay. Yes, I pronounce it Ocarina of Time. And actually, I haven't really talked about it, but Ocarina is probably my least favorite Zelda game. I've never really talked about my order of Zelda titles, but yeah, I, I don't actually like Ocarina of Time that much. 
I know that sounds like heresy, but I don't know. It's oh, okay. Here's where the holes in the thing come in. Let's drop this. I I actually assume I have to defeat every single enemy here, so I'm gonna do that. Um, you sir, let me blow you up. Please, please die quickly. Oh snap. Okay. Um, can you please die? Oh, wait, wait, I know, I know how, I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. Uh, no, 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 transfer to throw. Oh, I actually killed him. Okay, what I was thinking, okay, that works. What I was going to do is grab one of the, the spiky Goombas and, and throw them into the other, but I guess that works too. Okay, uh, can I do that with you though? Oh, I can't, oh yeah, I can't grab them. Okay, so I'm not as smart as I thought. But yeah, about Zelda titles, actually, if I were to put an order to it, it would be, um, it would be, hmm, um, Ocarina of, or no, no, it would be Majora's Mask slash, um, yeah, Majora's Mask slash Skyward Sword, and then it would be, um, Toilet Princess, Minish Cap slash Spirit Tracks, and then, um, let's see, what else? And then, yeah, and then Ocarina would fall in there, and then, and then Min uh, Wind Waker would fall. I, I haven't really categorized that one. But yeah, I don't really like that, like it all that much. It just, I don't know, it's just that it doesn't have a unique story. I like, the, I love the gameplay, but the story, eh, I play the, those games with the story, and it's just, I don't know, not amazing. Alright, in my opinion, granted, before you guys flame me in the comments, what do I do here also? I've been kind of, I've been running on autopilot the past couple minutes, and I've literally gone through, this is my third time going through here. I don't know what to do. Oh. Ha! <laughs> I can go through the door. I thought that because it was yellow, that meant I couldn't do it. I, I am smart. Wow, okay. Okay, and here's the end of the level. Sorry if this was a long episode, but I'm trying to do it so I'm doing an episode, or I'm doing, um, I'm doing a level per episode, no matter how long that takes. I have a feeling that that will have to change soon, but it's been working fairly well so far. Do you want to save your progress? Uh, no. 